Hamza says, in Saudi Arabia, when the congregation is over, the latecomers make another congregation. Is it from the Sunnah and is it permissible? The vast majority of schools of thought say that this is permissible. And they have a hadith that backs it up. It was reported that the Prophet والسلام, in an authentic hadith offered Fajr prayer. And after they concluded their prayers, a late comer came into the masjid. So the Prophet والسلام, addressed his companions who had just prayed Fajr. And he said to them, who among you would give charity to this man by praying with him? So one of the companions stood up and prayed with this man a congregation of Fajr for the man, but it was a voluntary act of that companion. So this is the vast majority of scholars saying that this is permissible. There are some scholars who said that this is not permissible. And they quoted hadith from Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, and I think either Abdullah ibn Mas'ud or Abdullah ibn Umar, I forgot, who went to the masjid when the congregation was over, and each one of them prayed alone and not with his companions, who were also latecomers. And they thought that this is an evidence that the second congregation in the masjid is not permissible. And this is not correct because the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ and the prayer of the companion who had just prayed Fajr in a second congregation is a clear uh, uh, indication that this is permissible. Of course, this is not recommended, but at the end of the day, the con second congregation is valid. The third, the fourth, the reward is less and less and less, but it is a valid prayer.